Hey guys, what's going on? I have just completed my three and a half hour drive into Vermont and I'm at Branch Pond Parking. I've got my canoe all packed up and I have a little portage ahead of me. There is already a bunch of cars out here, a couple empty roof racks. I've never been out here before. I don't know how many campsites are available. I'm hoping that they're not all taken. I'm gonna be meeting Craig later here today, so I'm just gonna get everything loaded up and head over to the pond and try and find a campsite. Hopefully there's one available. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I haven't even started my trip yet and my GoPro adapter broke. Hopefully that's something that I can fix. We'll see. Welcome to Branch Pond. That loon is carrying over some fish for the babies. I can't pick it up with this camera. Oh boy, that's awesome. Made it to the campsite. It's really nice out here. I was greeted by the loons. And it turns out all those cars are for people that are just day paddling. I haven't seen any campsites set up yet. No campers yet. So that worked out very well. This is a really nice campsite. Quite spread out, large, nicely wooded. There's the paddler right there. Now this is the kind of stuff right here that's just so irritating. Whoever did this is just so selfish and dumb. These people are breeding and that just sucks. Check it out. Some electric tape, my problems are solved. Back in business. It's lunchtime. Peanut butter, jelly, and Nutella. Good stuff. Got my hammock set up. That's the War Bonnet El Dorado with a view. I'm using the Beckett hitch for the pitch. I have the net guide out for headspace. There he is, he made it. Everybody say hi to Craig. Cheers. Cheers. Here's my view guys. I have my tarp on standby, folded over, ready for deployment should need be. Staring straight up at the sky. And boom. Pond to my left. It's Craig working on his hammock setup over there. Yeah buddy. Yeah buddy. That's my hammock set up right there. Our mobile units. Life is good. Right. My tarp is all folded over and should it rain, all I have to do is take that stake, 
which is already attached to Dyneema cordage and adjusted to length. And all I have to do is take that flap, flap it over, grab that stake and cord, stake it out, boom, I'm done. Branch pond is a trout pond. There's a lot of brookies in here, so they say. So I've read, so I've been told. And I brought my equipment, and I'm going to go out later tonight, later this evening. With any luck, land a trout for dinner. On pole number one, I have a double spinner set up that my buddy James gave me. On pole number two, I've got a cast master set up. Completely different color. Give it a go. This is awesome. Gonna do some trolling with this guy right here. Oh, it's 8.30, losing light fast, so I'm gonna head back to camp. Still got a line in the water. Just trolling, paddling around, checking things out. It's really quiet out here. This is unbelievable. What an awesome spot. There was a lot of traffic earlier today but they were just day paddlers. There are three parties camping on this pond tonight, Craig and I included. I'm hungry. How are ya? Well. Any luck? No. Same. Tonight for dinner, I'm having spicy macaroni and cheese with dehydrated turkey and vegetables. What's that? Gravy mix. And it'll thicken up. Back when I cheese, I haven't had that in a while. It's good stuff. This is the uh I love that shit. Chester's Cheetos. Spicy jalapeno mac and cheese. Definitely haven't had that before. They should make it in a can. Mac and cheese, steak, onions, gravy, mushrooms. Oh man. <sighs> uh.
I'm beat. See you in the morning. Had a beautiful sunrise. The loons put on a show for us. It's already shaping up to be a good day and I haven't even been up for 20 minutes. Craig's already out on the water doing some fishing and I'm gearing up to do the same. So about those loons, yesterday as I was loading in, there was a woman that was loading out and she comes here all the time, has great knowledge of the area and she was telling me that those loons were born last Saturday, a week ago from today. So those little loons are only a week old. And they're so cute. They're adorable. It's amazing. I honestly don't know if I've ever seen a loon that's a week old before. So, quite the treat. I'm giving the worm a go. It's on a bait holder. So I've been messing around with some cheap wooden paddles lately, shaping them, just to try and learn more about single blade paddles and get a better feel for them before I go out and buy an expensive one. I've made two so far, or I've shaped two, I should say. You know, I just buy these cheap wooden paddles from Walmart and then shape them. And uh, Craig is letting me use his bending branches this morning. What a difference. I gotta get me one of these. Real nice paddle. This is, this one's 54 inches. The ones that I've been working on are 48, so they're much too small. And the surface area of the actual blade, this is like three times bigger than the one that I've made. So I'm uh, scooting around this pond pretty good this morning with this paddle. It feels good. I need one. Plus it's just a work of art.
changing up the lure, going to what maps. Get the worm in the water, floating around. I'm still working on trying to catch something with a lure. Pretty much sitting on top of the deepest part of the whole pond right now, which is about 30 feet. At least the loons are keeping us company. Awesome. Well, it's 8.30 now. Pretty much been out here since 6 o'clock, so I'm heading back in. I'm hungry. Craig's making himself a feast on his firebox. Potatoes and eggs. That smells good. Chaga here, harvested from our own property. And I'm gonna mix that with some roasted dandelion root, also harvested from our property. That was delicious. I needed that. Yep, that hit the spot. And now that that's out of the way. Oh yeah. Ice cold. These things are so good. Mm. Oh my God, what just happened? There was a family that ended up camping at the campsite across the cove over there. Um, we saw them pack up this morning and head out, so we're going to take a paddle over and check out the site. I just like to check out all the other campsites that I can for future reference. It's really nice out right now. Cloudy, overcast, not too hot. Still pretty warm. It's warm, but not too hot. You got some cool cloud coverage. Kind of looks like potential clouds for thunderstorms, but they're not calling for any rain. That doesn't mean it won't happen. We both put our tarps over our hammock setups just in case. And now we're gonna now we're gonna paddle around and check out all the other campsites on this on this pond. Too bad it looks nice.
there's a campsite up here on the eastern shore. Really hard to get into, not a very good landing. Almost directly across from our campsite, which is right over there. Not a very good landing, but it looks like there's a pretty decent spot up there. Here's one of the campsites over here on the, the eastern shore. Pretty tight. Enough room for a tent right there and maybe some hammocks over there. But kind of grown in, not much of a view. Our campsite's way better. Yep. Oh, yeah. From here you can actually see our campsite across the pond. That's us, we're over there. I can see the rocks and the tarp. I can see my tarp. It's beautiful. another campsite up in there and not a very good landing at all <laughs> oh there's the landing a little sunken fire pit and plenty of pine to burn these sites aren't named or numbered they're first come first serve and this one's on the southeast end of the lake Definitely manageable. So there's the landing and fire pit to that campsite. And our campsite is right over there. Man, they're cute. Eight days old. There's a series of nice campsites on the shoreline that you can walk to from the boat launch. I'm not quite sure how many of them there are, but there's at least three or four. They look pretty nice. Yeah, that's a pretty nice site. Fire pit. Pond view. load in and there's some more this way I believe
there's a lot more traffic on this pond today than there was yesterday. I can see why. It's a really nice spot. Easy to get to. I'm honestly surprised it wasn't a lot busier yesterday. doesn't have any fish in it but I'm still having a good time me too it's fishless this is so good it's really nice and cold still. very good yeah they're very good white cloth surge pick on us all you want these babe see it's already working pick on, <laughs> pick on us all you want these bad boys are eight percent but refreshing refreshing at the same time or even better when you uh make a like a gin drink as use this as a as mixer a as we know we did that in maine and heavy it worked, hitters worked out swell yeah <laughs> <laughs> might have had a few last night too i don't remember There's definitely a lot more activity on the pond tonight than there was last night. I'm sure this is a highly used area. Maybe we really lucked out last night. Tonight for dinner, I'm having dehydrated pasta, spaghetti sauce, sausage, tomatoes, peppers, onions, some dehydrated tomatoes, and dehydrated vegetables and ground turkey.
Now I'm just going to take that off the fire and let it sit for a little while. Right there. What you got there, Craig? What are you having for dinner tonight? This is dehydrated spaghetti. I, it's basically angel hair. I chopped it up really small with oh, some, yeah. uh, just a basic jarred spaghetti sauce. Um, and then I dehydrated some hamburger meat and I added a little bit of that. So yeah. Looks good. Yeah, it's going to be good. Simple, easy to do. Yeah. And it's good out here. It's a no brainer. Plus we're in the woods, so it's good. You know? That's right. And what is it in the woods? It's pretty good in the woods. Yeah, This smells amazing. Parmesan cheese, courtesy of Craig. Yum. Good morning. It's the Sunday morning sleep in. The sun is shining. Check this out. something about sleeping under the stars without the tarp it's just it's awesome i've been sleeping so well We'll have three drinks and fresh water with ice. It's a neat little trick, it's worth it. Cold drinks, ice cold water, all weekend long. Well, we really lucked out on this trip, getting this site. After seeing and exploring the pond yesterday and checking out most of the other sites, this is one of the nicer sites on the, on the pond. Pretty happy to have been able to secure it. And yesterday was much cooler than today. It was a, yesterday was overcast and it was nice breeze and just a very enjoyable day. Today, the sun is up and it's out in force. It's hot. It's really hot. So. Looks like we timed this one perfect. It was awesome, awesome weather for July. Wasn't too hot for our trip. The bugs weren't too bad. They were getting at me a little bit last night, but all in all, awesome trip. Now it's time to start breaking down camp. Ah. 
packed up, ready to go. It's about 10 of nine. Well, all summed up, I'd say this is a really, really good time. It's a nice little pond. We got ourselves a nice little campsite. We had nice weather. It was nice and relaxing, just a chill hangout weekend, enjoying ourselves. It was a nice change of pace. I like it here. I'll definitely come back. Where'd you hear about this place? Uh, from that guy right there. So thanks for inviting me out here. It was, was a ton of fun. You're welcome. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're, we're all packed up and ready to go. We're, we're paddling out of here. Thanks for the support. I'll see you on the next one.